This video is going to walk you through two implementations of a program that converts a packed BCD number to its binary equivalent. So, the first implementation is, is pretty straightforward. We unpack the two BCD numbers to have the digits into separate registers and once we have it, we compute the value of this expression and that's the result. So, I assume that the number to be uh, that the packed BCD number is stored at the memory location 102 for AH. I load that packed BCD number into the B register. In order to get the lower nibble, I copy the B register into the accumulator, then mask off the higher nibble and store this value in the E register. So the E register now holds the lower nibble of the packed BCD number, which is the first is the ones digit. In order to get the higher nibble, I copy the original packed BCD number in the accumulator again and I mask off the lower nibble and then right shift this value four times. So at this point in the program, I have the higher nibble of the packed BCD number in the accumulator and if it happens to be zero, all I need to do is add E to the accumulator and that's the result. If that's not the case and the higher nibble is non-zero, then I need to have 10 times the higher nibble and then add it, add this value to the lower nibble. So in order to do this, I have a loop that adds 10 to the accumulator as many number of times as is the value of D. And the accumulator is initially zero. So at this point in the program, I have I have 10 times the higher nibble in the accumulator and I add the lower nibble to this value and that's the result and I store it in the memory location pointed by M. So, so that's it. So now let's move on to the other implementation and I have it here. In this implementation, what we do is this. The packed BCD number is represented as HL. H is the higher nibble and L is the lower nibble. The value that we have in the packed BCD number is H times 2 to the 4 plus L. Right? That's how binary works, binary number system works. And the value that we want is H times 10 plus L. So, as you can see, how we achieve this is... Uh, is by subtracting subtracting six times the higher nibble from the packed BCD number right if we subtract six times H from the packed BCD number what we'll be left with is this value and that's exactly what we want right so and say uh, and the multiplication by six multiplication of the higher nibble with six can be broken down into multiplication with 4 and multiplication with 2 and their sum and these two multiplications can be achieved by shifting bits right and left okay okay so once again i assume that the packed bcd number is stored in the memory location 102 for age i make a copy of that packed bcd number in the p register then in order to uh, in order to get the higher nibble Mm, I, I copy the contents of the B register in the accumulator then I mask off the lower nibble mask off the lower nibble and right shift this value two times so when I right shift this value two times I have four times the higher nibble right four times the higher nibble and I stored this value in the D register so now in the D register I have four times the higher nibble in order to get two times the higher nibble all I need to do is right shift the value that I have now in the accumulator one once right uh, once okay and and now since we have two times the higher nibble and four times the higher nibble in the accumulator and the re deregister respectively adding D to the accumulator causes the accumulator to have six times the higher nibble right so six times the higher nibble is now stored in the d register all i need to do is subtract six times the higher nibble that is the contents of the d register 
from the original packed BCD number. So I load, so I copy the original packed BCD number in the accumulator and subtract the contents of the D register from the original packed BCD number, which in effect subtracts the original packed BCD number, uh, subtracts uh, six times the higher number of the original packed BCD number from the packed BCD number itself and I have the result in the accumulator and I copy that result to the memory location pointed by M that's it